Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be talking about the Guardian Games, the Eververse of Guardian Games. The actual Guardian Games event we're going to talk about in a separate video. But real quick, if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate if you liked, comment, subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. We're almost at a thousand subscribers and I would really appreciate it if you were there for a long for the trip with me. And I appreciate every one of you who watches my videos because... Uh, I like making these videos, especially the Eververse, the Transmog, all that stuff, because I think it's important as a community to be very critical about the store and whatnot. So I appreciate I appreciate you taking your time to watch my video, and I appreciate you even more if you actually comment, subscribe, like the video and everything, because it really does help the channel, like I said. So first and foremost, we're going to get a shader, which obviously I'm going to scoop up, and then you can get uh, the Transmagnet effect, which is pretty cool. Then you can get a ship, which, or oh, this is, no, this is a ship. It looked like a sparrow for a second. Um, I don't really care. I, it shaders well though, I'll give it that. And then uh, this one, which was last year, your actual thing comes out, I'm guessing, depending on who you are. Uh, that's cool, uh, not 3,250 cool, but whatever. And then we get to the actual stuff, all the stuff they're selling for actual real world money and some bright dust stuff, of course. So you guys don't know, you guys can get the armor, which is from what I've heard, you can shader the whole thing, like all the yellow, the red and the blue, everything shaders differently. So if you're, if you want, I mean, I'm, it's your money. I'm not going to judge you, but I mean, I think this should be free in the event, but that's just my thoughts. Uh, you can get last year's one too, if you want. I don't know why you would want to because the shaders do not change if I remember correctly. I can't even change the color even if I wanted to because I can't. <sighs> you can't change colors when you when you view Eververse stuff for some stupid reason. And then you get a finisher. Ooh, this It's pretty cool, but I wouldn't say it's $8 cool. There's another one. Again, not eight dollars. This is definitely not seven dollars, dog. This is not a good one in my opinion. And then emotes, which I never show me the emotes. I don't really care to because I, I don't care. And then ten dollars for this one, really? Wow. Okay. Wild. And then you can get the ghosts, uh, sparrows, and ships, like I said. And I think last year's emotes as well, which I don't really care. And then the other stuff here so that's pretty much it let's look at what this what, the, what he, uh, she's selling this week which is the cracking up or cracking up which is basically just yeah that's what I thought it was I probably will buy this just because I crack like my body a lot but the how much is it 400 yeah I, can, I guess I can do that um the underdog which is gross looking runner up which nah no interest this one which i did say i was interested in but at the same time like ooh, dash tate shader is pretty good that's pretty good all right uh flip and flex yeah and last but not least participation trophy which whatever so that's pretty much eververse for uh guardian games i have completely no interest in this event uh, i've making no secret next episode we're gonna or next episode next uh next video we're gonna be talking about the actual things you can and cannot do in the game for this event like these all look cool i just oh man like i completely wish these were in the actual game behind the event itself because the event itself only We'll talk about that when we get to the portion of what, when, what we actually do in the game. So be safe, guys. You know what's happening here. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Do you guys think the, the armor should be locked behind the actual event and not behind $15 each? I would be more open to it if the, if, if the price was not $15. If it was like 5 I would even go as, far, as high as like seven to eight dollars, but like fifteen for each is just ridiculous. Like if it was fifteen, if it was if it was fifteen for each for like all of it, I'd be like, yeah, I can fuck with that. I would even go so far as to like buy the old armor set, like this too. Like 
immediately put down fifty dollars if I can get all of that. But whatever. Uh, enjoy buying these pieces of armor. If you do, I guess. Let me know in the comments below. Be safe, guys. You know what's happening, girl. And I'll see you guys later.